Welcome, my name is Leo Drager. Welcome to the penetration testing course. We're going to cover some beginner concepts, some intermediate concepts, and some advanced concepts. In this module I want to cover the different phases of penetration testing. Phase one is your reconnaissance, which can be done actively or passively. Basically meaning you can passively find information about your host, either going through an intermediary, or you can actively directly reach out and touch your target. Phase two is scanning. This is where we try to find even more information about our host. We're using disclosure to our advantage here. This is where we start doing our port scanners and our vulnerability scanners. Um, and we try to find as much detail uh, as we can about our host. Then in phase three, we have gaining access. This is where we actually perform the hack or the exploit. Then we maintain that access. Uh, and then we'll finally finish with phase five, which is covering our tracks. So this, these phases of penetration testing, they happen over and over and over again. One, two, three, four, five. One, two, three, four, five. One, two, three, four, five. And it's important to look at the subject matter of penetration testing as a cyclic process. Anything after that cyclic process is really a la carte in the sense of you can perform SQL injection, you can go after a web server, you can crack a password, you can run different type of exploits. But nonetheless, the major phases of penetration testing is always rinse and repeat. Phase one, reconnaissance. Phase two, scanning. Phase three, gaining access. Phase four, maintaining that access. And then phase five is covering your tracks or writing your reports. That'll cover the introduction of penetration testing. There's lots to cover here, so let's dig into the core detail.